right, I've got this pan heating here. It's a dry pan, there's nothing in it. And I've got some short grain brown rice. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that into the pan. And I'm doing what is called toasting the rice. Because today I am making coconut brown rice pudding. I loved rice pudding as a kid. It was one of my favorite desserts. Um, and then when I got older and I tasted it, it wasn't quite so good. The simple, just plain like white sugar, milk, cream, white rice didn't do anything for me. So I'm taking a healthy variation, doing what I call sicilifying it, so that it's something that I want to eat and eat all the time. So as this rice toasts, which is going to take about five to ten minutes over a medium high heat, the rice is going to slightly turn brown. When that's fully toasted to a level that I like, and I can smell it right now, it kind of gives a little bit of a popcorn-y sort of nuance. Turn that heat down. I'm going to transfer it into a medium size saucepan like this. Now in this pan, I've got some that's been going for quite a bit amount of time. Now rather than traditional rice pudding, dump everything in the pot, let it boil, cook away. When it's all mushy together, it's done. I like to cook it like a risotto. So I am on phase two addition. Risotto is cooked by adding in a little bit of the liquid, letting it meld, absorb, and then once it's absorbed enough, you add another round. So the round that goes in my coconut brown rice pudding is indeed some almond and coconut milk mixed together. Some maple syrup so that the sweetness gets absorbed up by the rice. Some honey, all of my favorite sweet, delicious aromatic things. Tiny bit of vanilla extract. Cinnamon. Nutmeg. And just a little pinch of salt to help all those flavors come alive. I'm gonna give it a good stir. Get this pot going over a nice low heat. Let that come to a simmer. I already see that steam coming off. Cover it. When all of that liquid absorbs, I'm gonna do it again. And then when all that liquid absorbs, I'll probably do it again until it gets to the perfect texture and consistency that I like. My brown rice pudding is done and it is decadently delicious. It does take a little bit longer because using that brown rice, that fiber and uh, slightly denser starch takes a little bit longer to meld and cook down, but the creaminess is just absolutely delicious. And then of course to garnish with any childhood favorite or adult favorite, perhaps raisins, golden or brown, candied pecans, lovely, fresh strawberries, blueberries, you name it. Or indeed, to kick up the flavor of that coconut milk, fresh coconut. Thanks for joining me as I reinvent and prepare a childhood favorite. I hope you do the same. And come down and see us here at the Divine Cafe at the Springs Preserve.